Hello, uh, today we have Ruth with us and uh, we are very proud to say that uh, she has passed her CM exam, part 1 and uh, we just want to talk with her informally and uh, share the experience with you guys. Uh, hello Ruth and welcome here. Hello. Uh, just, uh, okay, I take your name but you just briefly introduce yourself beyond your name and we'll give your educational background. Um, before the USCFD, I was a student who had just graduated with my bachelor's in finance and marketing. Okay. From where? Dubai or? Yes, from Dubai. From Dubai. From Dubai. Okay. So basically you are born and brought up in Dubai. Yes. Dubai, yes. 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 And uh, why did you particularly choose CMA US course? Uh, well, I wanted to advance my accounting career. So after, and I knew that professional qualification is the best way to do that. So after a lot of research and from advice from uh, Delphi's educational counsellors also, I realised that CME was the best option for me. Wow, very good, very good. And so continuing our discussion, I just want to know when you said that you, okay, you agreed that now you do CME. So there are three options available with us. One is like, study on your own this is basically for working professionals we say mm -hmm. another option is live training live online training which is uh, you know uh, you can attend remotely post corona this is very effective and the third option is a classroom typical you know like uh, before corona we used to have you know uh, the typical classroom sessions only and uh, which option do you choose and why uh, i have chosen the live classroom training uh, with uh, mr sham he was like very helpful and always you know motivating us students to keep uh, practicing questions and coming to him for doubts and all so yeah that was very helpful so now coming to that class thing did you did you miss any class or did you attend all the classes no i attended all the classes wow this is one tip you want to give to everybody that please yes. do not miss that yes. now in a typical class when you are attending from the uh, like trainer like sham sir so, uh, was he solving questions on the board or he was giving you the logic? He was doing both actually. Like uh, whenever we were solving questions, he uh, first he would ask us to solve it on our own to attempt it. Then he would show us how to solve the question uh, based on the logic. Like you know what is the idea behind the question, how to reason it out and then how to solve it also he used to show us. Wow, and this you picked up? Yes. So you, you say that classroom and see typically that classroom session is telecast live also for those yeah. people like there are like many people who cannot do like you have to skip a class. Yeah. So in that case what they should do? Suppose uh, they watch the recording? Yeah so if you cannot come in person you can also do it online live so you can still ask your doubts to the trainers uh, but if you can't do that also then the classes are always recorded. So whenever you have free time, then you can go and watch the recorded class. Yeah, that's okay. And asking doubts is like possible or like you can write an email, you write your doubts yeah. on the LMS portal or you can physically in, in next class you ask the doubts. Yeah. So does it give like enough uh, room to you to ask your doubts? Yeah, definitely. We can like stop him during the class whenever we have questions and just ask him that time or after class. So that way you are very comfortable yeah. with it. You decide to see him. So what was your study plan? Like how you will do part 1 first or part 2 or like how uh, Well, I took help from Delphi's uh, learning material. I felt like their online LMS was very helpful. So based on, yeah again advice from the counsellors, I decided which part I wanted to do first. And then uh, I got all the practice questions, quizzes, everything from their LMS which really helped me to prepare for the exam. See, LMS is huge. We have around 6,000 questions over there. Yeah, and uh, how did you manage your time with that? Uh, well, I created a timetable and then I decided uh, what topics I wanted to cover based on my commitments and uh, based on my schedule. And then I stuck to that timetable. Ah, like uh, it means you have holidays also in between yeah. and you have like sometimes you yeah, skip it. Commitments, so, family commitments. Of course, yeah. you are a family girl after all. So of course that, that should always be there. We do not compromise the studies for family and vice versa. Yeah. Okay. And now in all this transition, 
how the Delphi material means we have practice questions, mock exams, and uh, videos, and PPT, all that stuff. How did that help you particularly? Uh, I feel like the practice exams helped me a lot, especially in time management. I realized that that was my weakness when I was going through the mock exam. So I was able to improve on that when I was preparing for the exam. So means that, for example, we are talking about mock exam. We have a section wise mock exam also, full, full mock exam yes, also. Yes. So you did, did, did that exam with a stopwatch. Yes. And when the watch said stop, Ruth, so you stopped. Yeah. No cheating. No, no cheating. Fantastic. No, it, actually, basically, this is what this advice we give to everybody. The only thing is the students who take this advice seriously, they excel. Yeah. Of course, I mean, this is excellence is just a start of your journey, academic journey, you have to do so many things in life, you know, this is just a very small step, but it is in the right direction, yeah. of course. Yeah. On, on the, uh, like, when we come to the exam day, how was your experience on that particular day when, like, now this is the day, now I'm going to give the exam? Uh, I was a bit nervous in the beginning, but I knew that I had done my full preparation and all everything. So I just went and I gave my best for the exam and then I passed to see your department. Yeah, of course, no, actually uh, this was an open secret. Everybody like who watched you closely and we were lucky to have you like uh, with us so many times uh, apart from your regular classes also. So everybody was saying that Ruth will pass and this time actually our result was also good. Let me tell you 11th of August the result was out. At least 12 students contacted us and everybody gave the good news that they passed. So that way Ruth is a lucky mascot, you know, she was the first one to share and uh, then everybody who called like now today date, like everybody has passed. Yes. What advice you want to give to the, you know, the students who are listening to this experience? I think practice is like the best thing that you can do. To pass USCIB you have to practice, without practice you cannot pass. Practice is the key. Yeah. yeah. One. Yeah, and uh, that took time, you know, you manage your time also yeah. in that practice. Okay. A any other thing you want to say? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Huh? So, fine. Thank you so much uh, for listening to all this and may this help you for preparing your exams, like not particularly the CIM, CM exam, any exam you can prepare. These are the simple, you know, uh, first hand account by a student itself.